Hi, this is John Haven presenting what is new for Font Creator 11, a video recorded by Biku Pesala. Font Creator 11 is available as a 64-bit version, which is recommended if your operating system supports it. It is now possible to create and edit CFF PostScript fonts with Cubic Bezier curves. If the CFF outline format is selected, the units per M setting will default to 1000. For CFF fonts, the export setting will also default to CFF outline format. If the true type outline format is selected, the units per M setting will default to 2048. The export settings will also default to true type outlines. True type quadratic curves can be converted to cubic curves and vice versa. A single glyph may contain both quadratic and cubic curves. The contour fill in the glyph edit window can now use transparency 5, 10, 20, or 40% to make it easier to see points and connection lines or control handles. There is a new icon to lock metrics, which will prevent the side bearing being changed accidentally. A new option on the toolbars menu to lock docked toolbars prevents them being moved accidentally. Access keys on the contacts menu make it quicker to align contours or points by using the keyboard instead of the mouse. Access key B will open the align and distribute submenu. Then L, C, R, T, M, and B can be used to align the selected contours. If three or more points are aligned, their X or Y coordinates are displayed in the status bar. If one on-curve point is selected, its position and the angle of its tangent are shown in the status bar. Some menus and dialogs have new access keys to make them usable without a mouse. To save a font project with a new name, one must now use F, J. All open project files can now be exported quickly using the file menu access key F, A. Three more programs can be added to the launch external submenu. Browse to select the program executable on your hard drive. Type in ampersand before the desired access key and edit the title.
Select the newly added item to check that it launches. Fonts and font projects are now added to the recent files list on opening, rather than only after closing them. On switching to color mode, shortcut C, the color palette and the color glyph members toolbar are now shown automatically. Double click on a color glyph member to open it in a new glyph edit window. Disabling color mode hides the color palette and members toolbar. Insert Composite Glyph Member now allows several glyphs to be selected at once using Control Click or Control Shift Click. The Transform toolbar, if enabled, now remains visible in Composite Glyphs, allows the position of glyph members to be changed and their size to be read. Open type features selected in the preview toolbar are remembered after restarting Font Creator, and not just during the current session. Adding scripts, languages, features, and lookups is now context sensitive. The dialog title now shows what is being added, a script, language, feature, or lookup, and the usual lookup used for features is pre-selected. On adding a lookup for the alternate annotation forms feature, a single substitution is pre-selected. If, instead, we add a lookup for alternative fractions, the lookup will default to a ligature substitution. For our kerning feature, the lookup will default to a pair adjustment. For an ordinals feature, the lookup will default to a chained context lookup. That is enough for this tutorial. It covers most of the main new features and enhancements in Font Creator 11. Please see the documentations for more details and ask on the High Logic forums if anything is unclear. Thanks for watching on behalf of the Font Creator team.